Kulin daf kuf lamed hay was starting Beis Hashem a brand new parak reishis again. The shearing of the wool off an animal says the Mishnah that it applies even in our days. It applies even in chutzlars, even in America. It applies only by chulin, not by hegdish. The Gemara is going to explain what kind of hegdish. It only applies to sheep, not to goats and not to cows. And it only applies when you have many. Now there's two chumras that the matnis kuluna. Israel Chaim the Keva have that Rashi Hagaz doesn't have. Number one, we just said that it only applies to sheep Rashi Hagaz, but Matnis Kuna applies to bucker and sign, to cows and to goats as, as well. The the other thing is that Rashi Hagaz you need at least many we said, but by Israel Chaim Keva even one animal is Chayiv to Matnis Kuna. What does it mean, many? Bishami say two, two sheep, they still say five sheep. Reb Daisa ben Hirkinus says in Basilo that you need at least a mana vachati, meaning you need that each of the five sheep produce a certain amount of wool, and Chacham say no, even a mashu. How much wool do you have to give the Kayan? That would be the size of Chamish slime, white five slime in Yehuda. Basically, the Torah says, Titan law, you have to give him a gift, something that's choshev, that you can make a small garment out of it. And the Bright Torah says that you don't literally have to make it white, but you have to give him enough product that he could have out of it this shear of a small garment. After he goes through the whole process, he'll have left over this, that amount. There's two, ty- two types of rish that, gets that you don't have to give, meaning two, two cases. If you are mazik, you destroy the race again by coloring it, anything but white, because white you would have to give the kayan. If you colored any other color, it's like any time that you're mazik, the mazik huna, you don't pay for it. And also, if a guy owns it, then you don't have to, if the guy owns the behema itself, and you bought all the wool, you don't have to give the race again. Now, if you buy wool from somebody, you buy the entire wool, then you're mechoyev. But if he leaves a little bit of a wool, the, the seller leaves some of the wool for himself, then he's the one that's mechuyev in Rish Hagez. If there are two types of sheep, bad and good, Zachar and Akeva, and he says, I'm telling you one, but he didn't express which one, then each person has to give Rish Hagez from their sheep. Now, when the Mishnah says that it applies, Rish Hagez is only in Chulim and not in Hegdish, what kind of case is it? So, the Maskana Sagimara. Not the Maskana, but if we go through all the cases and we say, we go to the Chumra on all sides, basically it's a case where, according to one Shita, where he said, I'm the Nas, I'm selling, I'm giving everything to Hegdish besides the wool. And in addition to that, he has to say, and besides the weakness that's caused by shearing the wool, or any weakness. Because when you shear the wool off the animal, because he has less protection, it causes a certain weakness, and that you wouldn't be able to do to Kachim. Now, if it's Kachim is Be'ach, even if you make that kind of t'nai, it doesn't work at all. Because kachim is beach, if you make a t'nai, then you're giving even a part that the nisham is totally by. And over here, in our case, you're giving the entire animal besides this wool. So certainly it should be chal on everything, even the hair. And we have the machlekes. What if a person says, I am donating this leg as an oila? According to Rabbi Doisi, I think it is, you are, the whole animal becomes an oila. According to a mayor, only in a situation where it's an Eber uh, Shanashamat Luyubah. Sorry, I don't have my computer, and so I don't have my sheet that I usually type up, so I'm going off of the sheet. I'll call upon him. Um, but according to Rava, the Pshat is that a, the person was Magdish the animal, and he was Magdish only the shearing. And the Chiddush is that he doesn't have to be paida, he doesn't have to redeem it and give it to Hagdish, because he only has to take two steps and not three steps. He only has to shear the wool and give it to the Kayin, and not shear, redeem, and give to the Kayin. So the Mandamar who said that if you say Ragdish is oil, that was Rebyoyti. Okay, now, we're going on to Shutfus in an animal. If a person is a Shutfus with another Jew in an animal, then according to Chachamim, he's chayv erish again. According to Rabbi Loi, you be chiddush your pasuk because Rabbi Loi dashes the words soincha soincha is singular and it has to be yours without shusuf. According to Chachamim, they take the word soincha and they learn that if you have a shusuf to the guy, you're a potter. And according to Rabbi Loi, he learns that out from a hekish.
Now, if a person is a shutaf with another Jew, in, in, in sorry, with a guy in Tvua, so your mechuyev and maestras just ready says that there's ein breira, and if there's ein breira, meaning there's no retroactive clarification. So I I don't know what part is the Jews, what part is the guy. So it's tevel and chulin mixed into every single part. But according to Shimon Gamliel, we do have breira, yesh breira. There is retroactive clarification, and therefore I could say that part's the Jews, and that part is mechuyev. Whatever the Jew owns, he's mechuyev in truma. Now, Rabbi Lai says that since it says Sayyid of Lashin Yachid, it means you can't have a Shutvus, Shutvus patters you from Rashi Lagaz. But there's, the Gemara is going to bring seven cases where it also says Lashin Yachid, yet Rabbi Lai agrees that Shutvus doesn't ruin it. You still Mukhoyev. So the first thing he says is by, by Chala. Now, and he said, they, he learns it out that you have even Shutvus, and not because it says Arisa Seichem, because from that you learn that even that you need a shear of. 43 kibetim. By peya it says satcha, singular, yet from that he learns that to eliminate shudvus hagoy, because it says in the kutzrechem it's a lashon rab. Meiser it says begoncha, again singular, over here Rebbe Lai admits that shudvus doesn't help because it says matriseichem. By bikurim it says artzacha, lashon yachid, but it says, art, uh, it says artzam, well, he learns from artzacha to say that it's afghan as it's shalom, not in chutzar. It says ksufcha, but a beged shutim is chayiv. Why do they say bigdayim? So what I learned with tzuscha that a beged shula of borrowed clothing for thirty days is pader minasisis. And by maka, finally, and the last halacha for today is even though it says gagecha, the lashon yachid, since it says yipal hanoifel, yipal hanoifel, meaning anybody can fall off. So that tells us that everybody, even the shut, even the shutfos. So what do I do with gagecha? Gagecha, but not shuls and. But they have a wonderful day.